Welcome to the video everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's an exciting day. We are going to be interviewing uh, a Superseller Academy student. Uh, he joined uh, my course about three months ago. He's now launched his first product on Amazon FBA UK and he's doing fantastically well. This is going to be an in-depth interview asking him all of the questions that you could imagine that you would want to know from a brand new seller. So stay tuned till the end. Have a fantastic day and see you in the next one. So Fabian, how's it going, bro? Uh, nice to have you on the on the channel. Good man, yeah, it's good, it's great. I'm do, happy. Do you want to give yourself a little intro, mate? I um, I give, I've mentioned you just slightly in the post before, but do you want to just give a bit of an intro to yourself, where you're from, etc.? Yeah, my name is Fabian. Um, I'm from London, and I started my Amazon FBA journey probably the end of May, which is when I first launched my first product. 2018. Yeah, 2018. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Good so, stuff. Um, yeah, I started like researching in February when I first came across the video. So okay, okay, yeah. sweet, sweet. So YouTube, so you did a lot of browsing on YouTube. There's a lot, there is a lot yeah. of information on YouTube. There's a lot of good information, but there's also a lot of misinformation as well. <laughs> a lot of Amazon gurus as well. <laughs> yeah, the old gurus. Um, well, mate, let, let's fire away. Right? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a couple of questions just to give basically yeah. to get an insight into your journey, what you've done, um, and where you look to take the business basically in the next sort of twelve months. I talk very quick and also a lot, so, so <laughs> my goal is to just and let you let you do the talking, and you know I, I'm gonna zip it. So, bro, where did you hear about Amazon FBA? Um, so I was on YouTube one day and I, a video just popped up saying, "Oh, I owned I owned ten k in one month." So I clicked on the video and then literally I, I saw the person talking about how they made all this money on Amazon. And literally from that, I was just watching Amazon FBA videos, like how to source products, like how you have to find the products, all this stuff. I did that for like a good two to three months every day. I was just watching hundreds of videos. Yeah, because there's, there's a lot out there. So YouTube is your main source because a lot of people like hear about it through a friend or uh, I, the majority of people, to be honest, find out about it online, to be fair. but um, So YouTube was your source. So did you hesitate? I mean, what was your sort of initial mindset with it? Did you sort of uh, wait a long time or did you go for it straight away? What was your sort of um, your mindset at that point? Um, so from like the first week or two, I decided like I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that would stop me back was like the initial uh, startup cost, so like buying the products, uh, buying Jungle Scout, all this stuff. So I had to wait like a good like two, three months before I actually started. So you saved up, and so you were one of the few people. See, you're the one of the few people who goes for it because like I wasn't one of those people. I um, I sat on the fence for ages. A lot of people do yeah, that. Yeah. That's one of the you know the hardest part of the whole thing is just taking action and the power of taking action. I mean, you're you're a testament to that now. Your success is is a testament to the power of taking action. So, you know, congrats to you on that. So, okay, mate, great. So literally, it was mainly a cash flow thing before getting started rather than a hesitation thing. Yes, literally, that's all. That's the only thing that stopped me. Like, my girlfriend would always be like, oh, like, I'm so proud of you. Every day you're researching it, like, you're looking about how you can do it properly. And, like, I hesitated in buying a course. I wasn't even going to buy a course, but... Like, I'd, in the end, I thought it'd be best just to know everything. Like, because a lot of YouTube people, they miss out a lot of things. Or they, yeah. they one, someone will say something and someone else will say something else, which is, like, kind of annoying. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was good to have one centralized source of, of information as well, isn't it? That's consistent with, you know, what you know when you see, fit the, you know, module one, for example, and module two, you know it's all coming from one person. That one person is, is yeah. doing well. So, okay, sweet. So... What, I mean, the next question was basically what finally made you commit to it. But like you said, you didn't really hesitate. You you saw the opportunity anyway. So we're just going to yeah. go ahead and skip that question um, because you didn't hesitate. So how did your product launch go then, uh, Fabian? Like what happened with your product launch? Was it a success? Was it a slow burner? How did it sort of start off? So for the first, I would say, five to six days, I, every day I got like some of my friends to buy it. So I got like so one day I got my friend to buy two and then the next day, someone buy three, and then five. I did that for a good like six, seven days just to get a good sales uh, velocity. Yeah. Okay. And then after that, that's when I wait. When did I put on PPC? I think I put on PPC maybe like two weeks, two or three weeks later. But I had a good sales velocity without any PPC, so I guess Amazon ranked me up higher. Like yeah, and it, the, the second page and like two weeks I think it was. Wow that, that's quick isn't it that is yeah. and again with a fully optimized listen as you know um you can yeah. uh, you know drop your BSR right down and start ranking on those first two pages organically if you've got everything right set up when you're going in so um yeah that I mean that that's you know a clear um a demonstration of how that's possible so that's that's pretty good and how are your sales now I know you mentioned how many sales have you had this morning it's only 10 51 uh, 
Well, when I woke up at like nine o'clock, I had seven souls. Wow, mate, <laughs> mate, you're putting me to shame with all this. Stuff. <laughs> the only the only annoying thing was that I ran out of stock, so I didn't have stock for like six or seven days. Yeah. So that yeah. that kind of pushed me back to. I'm on page four now. It's okay. But I think I'll get. I think I'll get back up there. Yeah, I'm like, sure. Quite again, you, you rise back up. It's about you know taking things in your stride. Stock issues. It happens. It happens to me. It happens to the best of us. So wow, seven at nine a.m. So how much profit would that be at nine a.m. Like roughly? Uh, uh, how much do you make a unit uh, roughly? Well, I'm making about nine nine pound profit. So about sixty three. So about sixty three pounds before you open yeah. your. If my math is right, it might not be. It should be because I teach okay, math. I teach totally. math, so I should be able to do it. Um, but yeah, bro, that's like a you know a day's wage before opening your eyes with one product is it just it is literally it is mind blowing. So um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put a screenshot of your sales. I haven't actually got it on the screen, but I'm gonna go like yeah. that now and I'm gonna edit this uh this sales shot in. So this is Fabian's. <laughs> Um, one first month with one product, as you can see, almost four and a half thousand pounds. Um, generated it in his first month. So again, congrats on that, mate. It's unbelievable. Uh, you know, part of the Super Seller Academy. It's a pleasure to have you as as one of our students. And again, just doing so well. Um, so spot on. And if we move on to the next one, bud. So, I mean, your first month, four and a half k. Uh, there's a lot of um, ambiguity and it, it can be quite unclear when people show their uh, um, monthly revenue you know wow these yeah. amazing figures it's not all profit is it if we you know yeah. it's it's yeah. only a part of it so what what's your profit margin how does that work roughly um, so i only recently discovered that um because i'm selling basically my product is two in one yeah so at first i was calculating it wrong so i thought i had a 57 percent um profit margin but it actually wasn't it was 51 which is still good yeah it's like a good profit so that's yeah, decent. 51%. So, 51%. So, all, so 2 to 50 roughly. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know ask, ask how much you earn in your job, but you, you can imagine it's it's a sign it's more than yeah. I was earning as a teacher. Well, it's almost double um yeah. what I was earning when I was working full time when I was doing supply work especially, but um you know, it's literally mind blowing. And again, what would your so you've obviously had a lot of success with it. Um did you have any business experience when you started or you know, had you had an e-commerce business before? No, no e-commerce business, but I used to always just like sell shoes online and do that kind of stuff. Uh, what else did I do? Yeah, that's it really. I used to just buy shoes from like China, like Yeezys and stuff. Yeah. And online on Facebook and stuff. But other than that, no. So no like direct, you hadn't owned a company before, hadn't like run a website. You were, you know, fairly, yeah. um, fairly, if like, it's okay to if say, you're... inexperienced with, with online selling as I was when I started. I, I'd never done it before. Um, it was it was a first thing for me. Um, so, okay, that, that, that's great. So when you were selling your shoes, did you, I mean, what's the difference between sort of selling on eBay, do you think, and something like Amazon? Uh, with Amazon, it's literally so passive, man. Like, I'm not, I'm going to sleep and waking up to like money and, do you know what I mean? It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I've only seen one of my products as I got the sample obviously sent to my house and the rest sent to Amazon. Like Unbelievable. Uh, and the worst thing is when I launched, I was in Barcelona. At the, the day it launched, I was in I Barcelona. I remember, I remember, yeah. I was just like there for like a good week and a half and like, I'm just getting sales every day and I'm just chilling, like just having cocktails and stuff. <laughs> so bro, <laughs> so obviously the seven sales you've had this morning, you've been down the post office at 6am posting all those of you. <laughs> There with boxes and stuff. <laughs> so it's all Amazon FBA, yeah. They're doing it all for you. They're doing the legwork. So again, you can wake up to that kind of thing. So what would you? I mean, no. Before that, what do you um, enjoy the most about selling on Amazon? Like, what what's your you know your most um, enjoyable part of the whole thing? To be honest, I like because um, like I've never created a brand before. Yeah. So that process, was, I think, is probably like the, one of the best things: creating a brand and like getting people to like fall in love with your brand and like want to tell their friends like oh like try out this product like not even just because of the product itself but like the brand do you know what i mean so like the best thing to do i would say if you're gonna start amazon is build a brand so that when you bring like other products in like it's part of that brand and like people are buying to the brand more than the product itself probably if that makes sense yeah absolutely mate that makes complete sense i mean there's it's quite a feeling isn't it i mean we both experienced it actually you know 
starting with an idea or even starting without an idea and generating an idea, sourcing a product, launching a product and actually creating your own brand, private labeling a product. So, you know, you are essentially, you've built a brand and, you know, your goal is, I'm guessing, going to be to grow that brand now, like you said, um, yep. and, you know, generate a happy customer base who are all buying, you know, your, your the different products that you uh, that you sell. Okay, sweet. Um, do you enjoy how passive it is? Is that another thing you enjoy? I'm guessing yeah. that is one of them. <laughs> that's that's probably the main thing, that how passive it is as well. So like, you can, depending on how much you sell a month, like if you sell 300 units, 400 units a month, like you're just, you're literally making money like by doing nothing really. Doesn't seem, it doesn't seem, thing is bro, it's like one of those things, isn't it? It almost doesn't seem real. If you haven't done it and you know, it's just an idea in your head and you see all these people on YouTube, it's like, it doesn't, Uh but it's not real, but you know, you're living proof that it is, I am as well. Um, and it, you know, it shows that, that it's all possible. So, um, yeah. again, next question, you've answered that one, so we won't, we won't go for that one. So bro, we'll, we'll pretty much, we'll wrap it up with this one, right? So what would your message be to other people, um, who, you know, they've either, you know, they stumbled across Amazon FBA, they've been watching a few videos, um, and they're a bit unsure about it and not sure, you know, what to do. What would your advice be to those people? I would say just get just literally start today. If you can start today, whether it's like setting up your limited company today, that only costs fifteen pounds. Do you know what I mean? Or like opening a bank account, like whatever it is, buying Jungle Scout, getting your logo done, thinking of a business like name idea, like whatever it is, just start today. Because the only thing I'm annoyed about is I didn't hear about Amazon six seven months ago. <laughs> Same as me. <laughs> People that's been doing it for two years. I'm like, what? Like, how come I never ever heard of Amazon FBA? Like, it's crazy. I know, I know. That, that mate, honestly, I'm exactly the same. I was in the same position. I started in end of 2016, 2017, and you know, I look back on it and think, you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing. We all wish we started sooner, don't we? But um, but yeah. So pretty much the message is take action you know the power of action is exactly what we're yeah. doing now um any positive step in the right direction um is going to get you the result that you know that, that you've achieved and that you know that, that i've achieved as well and you know we're at different stages i mean where do you see your you know yourself in 12 months what's your goal uh 12 months i want to have at least i would say four or five products like yeah, realistic admitted, like that are selling at least 400 units 500 units each of them a month that's like the goal so, so we're talking sort of you know ten, ten to fifteen thousand profit a month from from those four, or certainly ten thousand a month from those. Coming along those lights. <laughs> and then I want, mate. You know, if we had another, if we had another call, I think we will. Then you're going to be sipping a mojito in Fiji on, <laughs> on an island somewhere. You're not going to have any time for me. <laughs> you never know what's possible, man. You mate, never you know don't. You don't. You know, you don't know what's possible. I, you know, I did that. I went out to Bali, working from Bali, doing you know a thousand pounds a day. <laughs> Your best life, man. You know, it's one of those things, bro. You know, keep at it, work hard, and you'll get there, as you know. So, bro, honestly, it was a pleasure speaking to you. Thanks for uh, thanks for sparing the time to uh, to have this uh, this short interview. Um, um, and yeah, I'll uh, I'll speak to you soon. Cool man, thank yeah, you. Bro, speak to you soon, bro. Bye.